22 home runs over the last five games. It sets an MLB record dating all the way back to about 10 days ago when the Yankees did it. But the Dodgers, 4-0 against the Braves this season. Once again, I said this is a possible NLCS preview. If they happen to meet, how do you see it playing out, though? Uh, it's not going to end well for the Braves. It's just <laughs> the, the only way that any, I, I think anybody has a chance of knocking off the Dodgers, it's going to have to be in a five-game series where they get the Dodgers, where, you know, maybe you win a game here, a game there, and boom, you win three, you move on. The Braves, I don't feel like they have the starting pitching. Mike, Mike Soroka, he is, mm -hmm. he is the real deal, and he is a Cy Young Award candidate. But after that, you know, you're going to go Keuchel or Freed. And, you know, this Dodger lineup just wears you down. And it's not like that they can be pitched to. So you get the pitch count up, then you get to the bullpen. I, I just don't see the Braves having the pitching to get through the Dodgers. Well, and you look at, too, the series. Uh, they faced them last year. They lost to them in four-game series. Uh, so, I mean, five-game series, but four games. Uh, you look at the Braves, and they know that they were in that experience last year, that mm -hmm. phase where they were happy to be. In, in the playoffs, now you're starting to look at them and saying, hey, uh, now we need to step up. And I think in their sights are the Dodgers because clearly they are the best team in the National League, in my opinion. They have to fortify that, and they have to have a light switch series, which means they have to have everything go right. And that's the reason why they've had to fortify their bullpen, but going along with that starting rotation, as EK talked about, I don't know if they have enough pitching, but they're going to have to play a perfect series to beat the Dodgers. I think the whole National League feels that way. And it seems like the Dodgers have the edge in every category over the Braves right now, with the rotation, the lineup, even the bullpen, everything. Even you talking about the experience the Braves had last year. Mike, it's not an edge. It's, it's a cliff. It's, 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 it's a step wide. Forget about it, Brady. Don't even go to the playoffs if you have to play the Dodgers. Just go ahead and give up and just let them go to the World Series, according to Eric Carroll. There you go. The Cubs going to NL Central. They've been in the playoffs for four straight years under Joe Madden. Like, won the World Series a couple years ago. This year, are they going to make the playoffs this year? Shoot. I, I mean, the way they're playing right now, I, I'd say absolutely not. I mean, when you think of it this way, there are only two teams that have more losses on the road in all of baseball. The Royals and the Orioles. Those two teams are terrible. And I'm not even talking about the Tigers. Right, right. The Cubs. I mean, that, that is, wow. I mean, and the thing about it is you, you can't, right now the bullpen, it's floundering, right? And so you say, okay, well, when Kimbrell comes back, I mean, that'll help some things. But they haven't, the starting pitching hasn't been there. I mean, Darvish has been their best guy. The thing that scares me is you look at their last 10 games of the season, seven of those are against St. Louis, right? Mm -hmm. Seven are against St. Louis. But six of their last ten, their last six games, guess where they're being played? On, on the, the road. road. Yep. On the road. I Right now, I I can't jump on the Cubs' bag wagon. Yeah, I don't, I don't, they're, they're great at home. Well, they are great at home, but it's too hot and cold for me. They got off to a tough uh, start to the season. Uh, they're a very volatile group. And you think of Baez, <laughs> Bryant, and Rizzo. Those three alone should be able to sustain some of the offensive woes that they've had because of the talent level. They haven't done it on a consistent basis. This is a team that usually is good in the regular season. It's been very inconsistent this year. I would not be surprised if they don't make the playoffs. How do you explain that with all the talent that they have? I understand the starting pitch and the bullpen has been leaky, but how do you explain the lineup with all the names you just mentioned? Well, you start to look at it, too. We always say that we're, we're relying on the experience and the rotation with Lester and Hamels. Hamels has been on the IL. You can't rely on that anymore because these are guys that are both 35 years old. You look at the rotation. Uh, is, does anyone stick out? Hugh Darvish is actually pitching better than all of yep. them right now. Yeah. And that's something that has been inconsistent with, with the starting rotation, something that you were probably relying on coming into the season. And, and you know what else? They don't catch the ball as well as everybody thinks. They are athletic. You know, St. Louis, fewest errors in all of Major League Baseball. The Cubs, you know, they're, they're around the eight, they're in the 80s, you know, which is middle of the pack. And is, for as athletic as they are, and the pitching isn't dominant. You can't give away outs. And then the last thing, who's leading off for them? I mean, they have mm, got, you know, so that true. top spot has just been, there's been a hole there. Ever since Dexter Fowler left, they haven't been able to fill it. And still no Contreras for them at the catch as well. Cubs 23 and 39 on the road. They still got 19 of their 40 remaining games on the road. It's not good. Mm -hmm. It's not a good, mm. not good at all.